Yeah, you ain't got no wine in this bitch? Yeah, I ain't even brain none, uh, car. I ain't even brain none. Uh. You start recording already? Yeah. Are we live? Uh, we the live? camera's live. My Facebook ain't live yet, though. Hi. This is my first podcast ever. Well, welcome. I'm kind of nice. Glad I could break your podcast, Cherry. Yeah, my baby brother T used to be like, like that. Oh, for real? <laughs> he said my baby brother T used to be like that. Yeah, you know, they be suck their thumb and shit. They teeth got their own form around that thumb. Now you done told your brother at the business. <laughs> he got braces. He good, now. <laughs> but shit, when they get real bad, they, they got to goddamn break your shit. Break your what? Uh, I don't know what that shit called. That shit in your mouth, they got to break that like shit. The, the gum shit? Nah, that shit up here. They got to break it. Because that shit, that, that shit a arch. You keep sucking your thumb. They got to break it and got them let it form back. What should I call this? Coming out the closet? Don't call it that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I am not Kevin Samuels. <laughs> Uh, nah. What? Think of the title after Goddamn was recorded already. I was talking about the description for the live. Oh, for the live? Do the cooks loves women. Or do the cooks hates women. Either one of them shits. Yeah, they love that hate women shit. They yeah. they click on that shit. Yeah, put that shit on. Yeah. They hate me. They probably oh, gonna be Gigi. like this bitch. Gigi. And, and you can say it both. And you hear me? Say what? You probably can say it both. Alright. Because my Anna page is like the main one. I just can only comment on from Gigi. I can get my phone stand up. Right, my shit gotta be straight up. Yeah. Yeah, I take it out the charging. All right, man, let's get into it. Let's get into it. No matter what happens, these people just keep applauding. Welcome back to another episode of the Be Safe Podcast. It, I am your host, B. Cooks, and I got some friends in the building. You know, I got my man, Slim, from Shots with Slim, a.k.a. Uh, uh, Slim Wildin. Sit down with Slim. Sit let's get it. with Slim in the building again. You know, he's a regular here. And then we got also Miss Anna Savannah, how are you, beautiful? I'm doing lovely. How are you? No matter what happens, these people I'm glad to have you. Glad to have you. So, we're here today to talk about some things. You know, there's a lot of controversy on the internet right now. Motherfuckers is angry in their motherfucking feelings and shit, bro. But we're not here to actually play with people today. You know, we're going to have a conversation. And um, I maybe even clear the air for some people who may have an idea of who I am and don't know me. You know, um, so I'm glad to have you here to join me as a uh, some female representation. <laughs> Turn your mic, bro. Here. You know what I'm saying? So some people seem to think that... Uh, <laughs> Nigga, you gay. You know what I'm saying? That's how some people feel. And, uh... I... <laughs> <laughs> that shit funny. It is. I can hear the sound effects through your headphones. Nigga, you gay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we're going to talk about some things. And, um... So, how long would you say we've known each other? Like 10 years now. Yeah, it's been about 10 years, right? 10. Yeah, that flew by now that I think about it. 10. Yeah, even before I had a daughter. You know, um... 
And, you know, on the internet right now, there's been a lot of back and forth. There's been a lot of, nigga, you gay, you hate women, da-da-da-da-da. Oh, your mannerisms. Uh, you so angry. Who hurt you? What, what's the other phrases y'all be doing? It's giving. It's, it's giving. Uh, 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 what is that shit, though? <laughs> we still trying to figure that it's shit giving, out. Like, it's making me feel or your energy is giving. Oh, okay. That. Right, right, right. Okay, I got it. I used that in the comments, and Shorty didn't pick up on the joke. <laughs> but it is what it is. Nah, but um, I guess we wanted to give people a different side of me who don't know me, because most of these folks that got something to say you truly don't. Do not know. At all, you know, so. Um, Slim, can you help me out? I got you, bro. Sitting on my damn braids, booty braids, like you like to call them. Sitting on my damn booty braids. <laughs> All right, so we starting with, uh, do you believe cooks hates women? No, I believe cooks hate certain traits about women. And why do you believe that? Because I know him. We talk about shit like this. Cooks, what do you think? Um, I think. That if people think I hate women, they they are very one track minded. They don't necessarily think beyond that six inches of phone that they got sitting in front of them. You know, a lot of people, and and I guess we can be specific here. A lot of women may lack accountability in certain areas. And you know, when I say certain things, it's not that it's something new. This is all stuff we've that's heard before. This isn't this isn't new conversation. You know what I mean? I'm saying stuff that has always been said before. It just may have never been said to you. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't that. It, it don't apply to all women because that would be ridiculous, right? There's too many. And all y'all are not different. But the responses I'm getting make me aware that there are certain women who may feel like they don't have. Their idea of a man is one thing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then that same woman will sit there and say, well, don't compare me to the next bitch. Then don't compare me to the next nigga. We're not all the same. So where, uh, you know where did this narrative I don't come move from? Like a fucking barbarian, urgh, all the fucking time. Don't mean I'm. Don't mean I'm fucking gay. Like that's fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like I have no reason to be gangster ninety nine percent of the time. Like Everybody for what? Be for fucking what? Everybody don't want to be thugged out their whole life. <laughs> that shit gets tiring. So where did this narrative come from? I mean, the whole thing. You hating women. You being gay. Where did this come from? Where do you think it came from? Because he get on there speaking his mind about shit that people don't like to hear. And it's like, oh, well, it's coming from, he's single and he's also a father. So they probably have an opinion like, well, if you know all the answers and got all the answers, why you're not, woo, 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 or why you ain't got no woman. But it's like, just because I don't have that don't mean I, ain't, I don't have experience with it and I can't speak on it. But it's really because of that. And the fact that to me, I know him when he used to, I know the old him. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, Describe what that was. Just call me the taxi driver or the chauffeur. <laughs> Describe. Get, call me the shuttle bus driver. Describe what because that I era show was, was like shuttling for me. them hoes out in and out. Like because I would come to the party, kick it. I don't really drink. I smoke. Couldn't smoke inside at certain venues. So okay, I'd be outside smoking. It was common for a girl to, hey, what you doing after this? I'm like, man, I'm going to the crib. What's up? You'll drop me off at Cook's house? Just come, just text me when you about to leave. Like, I got so many bitches' number in my phone just for that. For them <laughs> calling me, hey, you left yet? No, but come on. I done dropped so many bitches off over there. So many. Group chat. <laughs> it was two in a group chat. I had a little situation. And I knew, but I couldn't say nothing because everybody's telling me not to say shit. Like, the, the people involved, like, you know, I fuck with such and such, but, you know, keep it on the low because I don't know what he got going on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, cool. I'm going to shut the fuck up. But when the shit came out, it was like, oh, well, Anna knew. I did, but I was told to shut the fuck up, so. Oh, right, right, right. I mean, But I know the old him. And then, I mean, before he even started getting away from, like, that old, you know how we used to dress back then. You know how niggas used to dress back then. Yeah. Before that, he was like, hey, my nigga. God damn, we getting old. I'm trying to change my style up. He'd be like, you think this outfit is great? You think? I'd be like, yeah, that make you look like an adult. You don't look like, hey, I'm about to go party at the three tonight. Like, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. look like a respectable citizen. Like, right, right. When and the nigga switch up some, some shit like that, then the bitch would think he gay. We want I, a nigga to be clean. We want a nigga to stop sagging. But as soon as he do, 
oh, why that nigga don't, and, and, and we want a nigga to keep his hands and face clean, but as soon as they do, we want to throw around, oh, he gay. One of the chicks I dealt with came to me, she was like, Brandon, you know why they think you gay? I was like, why? I was like, because I, I be speaking on women? She was like, nah, it's because you speak about women and you pretty. I was like, well, she was like, not pretty, like, like pretty, like, soft. Pretty like you're groomed. You yeah, exactly. Together. Yeah. And I was like, I was like, so that means to tell, that mean to tell me the average woman might be dealing with a dusty ass nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you what, got eyes. What I look like walking around not groomed and my fingernails dirty. That's fucking crazy. You got eyes. You see what's out here. Oh, I do see what's out here. You work at the club. <laughs> you see, you see what type of Times is different. I don't ugly niggas uh, think they uh, way harder than they used to be. <laughs> so the girls think you supposed to look like that shit too. Everybody that that don't make sense. Like, to me, that means like, yeah. they have they just have one idea of what a man is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and they're wrong. <laughs> man, somebody asked me this morning. They were like, "Brother, bro, do cooks even get bitches?" I was like, "Somebody yes, really bro. asked you that?" Yeah. Do get bitches? <laughs> it's because I, I told you. Emma. <laughs> you can speak. You can speak okay. on that shit. This is a safe hey, place. My boy get bitches. <laughs> I don't know what he got going on now. So I ain't trying to do too much, but it's never been a problem in that department. Yeah, Man, like, I don't it's understand. You know what I'm saying? Department. Like yeah. just because I choose to keep myself up, you know that don't that don't that. Why is that feminine? I don't get that. You know what I mean? That doesn't make sense to me. You, you know, don't even be no quality bitches talking though. Just throw that in it. I mean, no we, we know they dusty. That's why they <laughs> like, bitch, you ain't even in the corporate world, bitch. You, hit, you work at the club time. with You used to work at the club with me, girl. Stop playing. Right. Come like, on. come on. Now, we know the kind of niggas you dealing with. If I look at your resume, baby, it, it, I guarantee your nigga don't hold a candle to me. Never. Pro, you dating niggas who main bank account is chime. No, no shame to chime. <laughs> main bank account. Like, I see, baby, I see the nigga like that at the restaurant. He can't even wire you no money. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Like, come on. I seen I seen a nigga chime car get declined at the restaurant a couple weeks ago. He was mad as hell. And then the, the waitress was like, you don't have a account? Because if you a had card? a real bank, you can get on the phone and call somebody. Yeah. Hello. You know, so, like, I don't I don't even understand where, where the hatred thing comes from. And, like, I think people don't be understanding that when they be talking trash in the comments, you're really talking to people that actually have interacted with me before. And we really being so, funny. Like, yeah, like, and, and they know I have a sense of humor. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit is entertaining to me. You know, it's this shit strategic. Now they don't understand. They part of the, they part of the plan. And they helping bring dialogue. Give us something to talk about on these podcasts. Yeah. Um, but cooks. So here's the thing. As I told you, I get I get a lot of DMs about you and your situations. And I told you, I agree and disagree at the same time with you going back and forth with the women's online. Mm -hmm. You got to speak on that. Well, the back and forth again is is part of the the bigger picture, right? Uh -huh. So, in order in order for us to have a conversation, there must be dialogue. But the thing is, a lot of people come with a lot of women anyway come to me with the same hatred that I'm talking about, rather than actually having a conversation. You know what I'm saying? I know for a fact I have to say it a certain way in order to create the conversation. Because if I say it the way women like it, and it's all fucking fluffy and cute and shit, they're not going to respond truthfully. Because now I'm, that means I'm already lying to you if I'm softening the blow. You know what I'm saying? It's like, and they don't understand it. Like, I have to say it a certain way in order to get a reaction. When I talk about dudes, y'all don't interact the same, no matter how savage I talk about niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm willing to tell a nigga straight up, bro, you trash. Like, like, let's be real. Like, there's dusty niggas out here. We know that. And there's good niggas out here, too. Well, maybe they feel like if you had more status about me, and then... But they're not going to create the same... They're not going to create the same interaction. They're not... They don't. It yeah, just he tries to reach his quota. He tries, like, for every you know 10 I mean? female posts, he makes two men posts. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> needs to be, like, six. You see what I'm saying? That's so what I said, cuz. And then, like, the women posts be, like, paragraphs. The men posts be, like, y'all niggas need to stop sagging y'all pants. Because, because when I'm talking <laughs> to niggas, like, we fucking get it. I yeah. can be extremely direct. And niggas don't be want to explain no shit for real. Niggas get on there and say two sentences, and you got to pull or guess what they mean out of that shit. Yeah, and, and, the, and the thing, what it really exposes is that, you know, you know the simple phrase, hit dogs holler. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you, if you really feel a hit, there's a reason. 
There's a reason you feel triggered. Why? Because it might apply to you. That don't mean I hate you. That just means you might have more work to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and motherfuckers like, oh, nigga, you, you going back and forth. No, there's a reason. There's a reason. Do I you feel like it's worth it, though? Absolutely. Because I know the end game. There's I, an end game. You I feel like maybe you talk more about your flaws. It could be more relatable. Like, speak on yourself some, then maybe. I mean, I'm always something. willing to speak on me. But come at me with something that I can actually talk about. Rather than just saying, oh, nigga, you. you gay. They don't that's know you. That's fucking lame. Like, get, let's have a real conversation. Ask me right. a real ass question. But they don't know you to even know what to ask. So sometimes you got to throw something out there for people to understand. <laughs> But see, when he cranked the, uh, yeah, all you bitter, all you bitter single baby mamas, all they got to do is look at his page and see his little girl in the background and just be like, oh, oh, you got a kid out of wedlock too. I'll fire his ass back up. I don't I mean, know I mean, but, but I'll get back on that right. ass. What the hell you talking about? And, and, and <laughs> me, having a kid, ass me having a kid isn't me putting my flaws to the side. Yeah. You know I acknowledge that my kid is walking, talking. She's out here. I know I got a kid. And you ain't no bit of baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can be critiqued. I, can't, I cannot be better without getting critiqued. And I critique myself on a regular basis. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People might say, well, why you ain't in no relationship? Because, baby, I got more work to do. That's real. You know what I'm saying? I ain't done yet. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, it ain't that I couldn't be. It ain't that, that I don't have the options. I could get a relationship right now while we on live if I wanted to. Mm. So what you think you got to uh, work on? Um, well, for me, it's just about being where I want to be fully as a man. I, I might check. I can look at myself and say, yeah, I check a lot of boxes, but I ain't checked enough of them yet to, to say I'm in a position to take care of somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. I, I, I could do it, but am I going to do it at the capacity I see myself truly doing that shit at? I don't think I'm there yet. You know, that, I truly don't believe that yet. Like, I got more work to do. You know? And do I have women in my life? Yeah, but I know what comes with being in a relationship. I know what comes with that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just not prepared to do that right now. And I should, and that should be okay. Do you think you possess the traits that uh, women like? We got a woman on here, though. Can you tell us what women like anyway? It's different. Everybody likes different things. I mean, me personally, I like, I'm big on communication. I'd rather just talk about what the problem is so we can move forward on. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather talk about some shit over a blunt anyway so we can kick it and be relaxed. Yeah. But I'm big on communication. I like to feel like whoever I'm with, I like to feel safe. You know what I'm saying? Like I can come to you about whatever. Or when I lay down with you at night, I already know if something happened. You know what I'm saying? You got my back type shit. I like that. I like somebody who's, I like emotional stability. I love, everybody likes financial stability. But I like, I think emotional stability is important now because yeah, that's there's a, a lot one. of mental health shit that people haven't addressed that they needed to address. So a man who's like stable in that and can think, you know what I'm saying, and express himself, that's the type of qualities I look for. But you know, like the reason why us men lack in that department is because how we grew up. Like in the 90s, our mamas was like, shut your bitch ass up, stop crying. You know what I'm saying? So now we like men that like, man, I tell my but homeboys all the time. Their way of trying to make their son a man you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah but no that's why you need both parents and we didn't have both parents but that's the bigger picture right yeah it's like but, let me tell you what changed with that a lot of women now my age we are trying to get y'all to yeah. get, feel like y'all have a space to come talk a safe space a lot of us are trying to change that narrative but it's hard to make a lot of people accept something that they not they never had Mm -hmm. They're gonna feel like Oh this bitch is trying to know my business So she can use it against me No I'm not Because in an argument I'm not gonna throw it up I, But, but some women Some, like some women do yourself. attack us With our flaws Some do And use it I mean, as a weapon But that's people in general That's both Everybody does that Your parents but, but I, do but that I think Your brother a, do that That is a lack of maturity in my, or, or a lack of an ability to communicate But it comes from both sides Because Niggas done threw shit up in my face. I'm pretty sure I done threw shit up in niggas' faces before. It comes from both all of us. I mean, and I, and I mind you, I'm not saying that as somebody that hasn't have. that hasn't done it before. Because I know I, yeah. I've done it before out of spite, not necessarily. Now at this like, age, we should be able to communicate. Yeah. I don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, I feel like I don't give a fuck what you were taught growing up. Once you become an adult, we learn how to do so much shit on our own. You should know how to teach yourself how to. If you bad at communicating. 
three years from now, you should be good at it. You, if you know you lack that, why are you not working on that? Why are you oh, not I agree. To that? But, you know, just like with Cook's Post, a lot of people lack self-accountability. Mm. So yeah. they grow up and they still hold on to that childhood shit. So it's like if you if you never had a good a good line of uh, communication with your mom, then you get with your woman. It's the same shit. You know but what I'm saying? But once you recognize that you have that flaw, it's your job to go get help or find somebody to help you fix but, that. But that. It's that's your the, job as an adult to work. That's on the that. first step is admitting that you have a problem or admitting, yeah, admitting that you you are flawed. Thing. You know what I'm saying? And a yeah. lot of women walk around right with the with that whole I'm a ten, uh, we're perfect, da da da. And when when yes, in your mind you should feel like yeah, you should feel are like great. Should you should, you should fucking should. should you? But that's not the reality. That, that's <laughs> not you? reality though. Yeah, hey, you should, feel, you like, should I, feel like you're great, but you always like, have like, a little girl. It, it really, what I'm, I'm speaking to is this yeah. self confidence. I yeah. know what y'all saying, but me and TJ had a great conversation over breakfast this morning. We were talking about how we miss the real big girls. Like, remember when big girls was, like, nice and insecure and, you know, like, fluffy and no just, like, that. nice to be around? Nah, we that. missed they them. confidence back. Shout out to y'all for getting y'all confidence nah, back. Do nah, 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 nah. They should have confidence, but, like, they overconfident nowadays. Yeah, there's some skinny, <laughs> this some skinny girls that, that's insecure that you can got. That's true, true. That's true. That's true. But we talking about, but like, like, but like, the big girl used to be nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she used to be real nice. Pull up and cook for you. <laughs> yeah, the big girl was nice. Now the big girl is like, I'm a bad bitch. You got to do this. I mean, but, like, you should, you should be self-confident. I truly believe that. But you, but you should also be real with yourself at the same time. Yeah, like I know I'm not yeah. the most. <laughs> I know I'm not the most attractive nigga in the world, right? I, I'm, and I don't care because I can't change it. You know, there's nothing I can do about that. But what I can do is look at look myself in the mirror and be like, you know what? I love me. You know what I'm saying? That's where it started. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like don't. But I also know I'm not a fucking ten. I'm not perfect. It's cool. But what I can do is wake up every day and, and strive to attempt to be better than I was the day before. He love him, but he hates y'all bitches who want shit that y'all can't offer. It's all I about mean, reciprocity. They, they, I mean, some chicks, some chicks are really dreaming out of their league. Yeah. Some niggas are too. Because they know, ain't no reason. I'm not trying to be funny, but ain't no reason my but, inbox but, be full but, of jail niggas. Like, come yeah, on, bro. You said what? Say that again? My, ain't no reason my inbox should be full of jail niggas. Y'all got to know y'all overplaying. <laughs> <laughs> nah, because nowadays, Period. they fucking with these jail niggas. My nigga, do my demeanor even... Co- <laughs> <laughs> nowadays, women fucking with jail niggas, though. Just from what you know about me and the few times we not interacted, do my demeanor say, oh, I'm finna go fuck with this nigga in jail and hold him down. Nah, but like exactly. I'm thinking from I'm thinking from the viewpoint of a jail nigga. Like, yeah, I'm gonna shoot my shot. I'm in jail. I mean, what, 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 what is that a lose? Yeah, <laughs> you ain't got no time. Punting with me, but, but huh? can y'all hear me? You're over fucking punting with me. <laughs> Just holler at me and holler at me after you done been out for some time and all that shit. Yeah, you know, go live your life. And when all they that, get out and prove themselves. Huh? Not even prove that stuff Just when you get out And you done did whatever You know Nigga been in jail yeah. God damn You might want to fuck around Go do all that Go get yourself together Get stable And then approach me Approach me Alright he gets way. out He's stable now How is he supposed to approach you He better approach me like a man Like but, a But what is that But, but paint like a picture Like a classic I feel like Like a classic Traditional 1700s man Excuse me madame <laughs> Oh you <laughs> You don't like that type of shit <laughs> Nah but let me tell you though I do like I'm I'm a I'm a sucker for that. I like it for a man to just be like, "Hey, Miss Lady," or "Hey, Man, what's your name?" You know, real small. gentle. Like, yeah, I don't like that aggression. Like, yeah. you know, tap me on my shoulder, get my attention, shake my hand, or something like that. Be real nice with it. How you doing? If we in the club and we ain't got that kind of time, hey, you know, is it cool if I get your number? If I like what I see, I'm gonna give you my number. If I don't like what I see, I'm gonna say no, I'm good. Do you like uh, pushover type of niggas? Nah, I don't like no sucker. Why not? I like a man who can lead. Okay. I'm a, I have a very strong personality. So you, you, you're more like the traditional type. So. I'm traditional. I just don't dress like it. But I'm, I'm <laughs> really like, I like my man to be able to put his foot down and me to be comfortable enough and believe, have that type of respect and faith in him. Like, okay, well, he said it, so this is what's best. Okay. Would you agree so that, that women nowadays more so like bitch-ass niggas, though? I ain't gonna say that's what we like. We just like niggas who, when it come to certain shit, gone. We like to be babied. 
in a sense. Yeah, but you fine. know it's a difference though. Because look, we like a nigga like, okay, how your daddy gonna give you what you want? We like niggas like that. We want our nigga to give us what we want. We want a nigga to be in that good of a position, even if we reaching, even if we overreaching. We want our nigga to be in that position to just give us that security and comfortability to give us what we want. Mm. It might be some sappy ass shit like I wanna be held all the time. It might be shit I like purses. I like going shopping. I like going on vacation. But I mean everybody everybody likes that. All right, I got a great question for you too. What do you think about like when a man first meet a woman and of course he's trying to get some ass? Like let's be honest. Right, that's right. that that's really what we want. Yeah. But she on some shit like this nigga wants some ass, I want some money. So how you feel about when women ask niggas for money before he even asks for some ass? <laughs> But tell see, the truth, dog. Keep it a buck. And they're telling you what they want a friend, straight up. But see, I, I've also they put it out there, just like nigga might put it out there. They put it out. So there. don't some women use that as a, also also as a way to say, nigga, stop fucking with me. Like, like I don't want to fuck with you. I ain't gonna like, lie. Like, Sometimes a bitch know that nigga ain't gonna cash out, so a bitch might say something outrageous It's like, oh well, I want to do that, da, 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 da. and then you know that nigga ain't doing it. It's like he gonna fall back from texting. It worked. It worked for some niggas. Okay, okay. It don't work for a lot of niggas. A lot of them gonna be like, "Oh well, I gotta work, and but you know we can woo woo." You know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas gonna really try to finagle their way into some shit and find a way to goddamn get them draws. I mean, I mean, cause some niggas got that that type of time. Some niggas don't. Yeah, that shit's weird to me too. <laughs> like you pretty much know who got that type of time just from interacting. You you know. That's when I knew it was time for me to get out the, the game. Time, <laughs> bitches know Cause look We taking our time now We not just jumping in no shit we, Yeah we'll let you What you doing That's the definite inbox Like okay so yeah He won he on Yeah the He easy I'm he glad you said That inbox shit him. like <sighs> But if it's a nigga Where if you Don't message him Or don't respond And that nigga ain't responding And then you hit him up And he make you wait For a response You like okay I can't play with him Like he ain't playing With my ass So either When I'm niggas DM him, you Do you like What's the percentage Of niggas you respond to that DM you. If I know you, I'm going to try to respond if I know you. Mm -hmm. If I don't know you, it just depends on what you're you talking see, How about. many niggas be in, in your DM talking to themselves? Yeah, that's the better question. <laughs> a lot, because they're, they're right it on my page. I know you seen my message. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, them niggas had ass. <laughs> <laughs> them, niggas <laughs> them niggas for hide, real. Them niggas is for real. You got to hide the comments sometimes, because wait a minute, don't do that. Don't come at me like that. And then when I go in the inbox, yeah, you be talking to yourself, but it be some bullshit. Something that, it's some bullshit. It was, I might have loved it or something, but like you didn't say nothing that requires me to have dialogue aside from thank you. I mean, so what the fuck we, we talking but, about? But as a woman who gets and then you attention. what you doing me, and I tell you what I'm doing, and then we have a little conversation. It's the same conversation. You always ask me what I'm doing. I always tell you. I always <laughs> ask you. Then we go on about our day. Yeah. Like get to the point. If you want to, but how does say that, what's up? But how does a you nigga, me on a date how does a nigga make push himself to the top of the of the I guess of the priority list? Yeah, because well, I want to know a, about this DM already shit. Gets, as a woman who already gets attention, how does a nigga stand out from um, a sea of niggas? Like, how does he push his way to the top to where you like, oh, I'll give him up. I ain't going to even lie. It got to be in you. It ain't on you, bro. It got to be in you. Cause like, my, I'm going to tell you. Cause you it's know, just all about the way you talking, what you talking about, how we vibing. It, not yeah. even financially. But it's just like. Cause my DM game is trash. Oh, my shit. My DM. My Sometimes shit ain't you gotta get in My MySpace game was fado. Sometimes you got to get in there and you know, okay, no bad. <laughs> sometimes you got to get in there with a little joke sometimes. You know, so it's okay to be corny sometimes. Just not all the time. Oh, shout out my nigga Domo. That's how he be getting bitches it's online. It's okay to be corny every now and then. That's okay. Because I'm like, I'm going I'm to walk up on you and like. But be interesting. Be interesting. Have something to talk about. Hey, that nigga Do Quad stuff said. So you can have stuff to talk about. But see, I got, I got a question though. Like, what's up? What's up with women giving out their real phone number just to ghost niggas? Yeah, that's weird like, too. That, that's I don't understand that. I ain't gonna even lie. I didn't give my number to a nigga. And I, I did ghost him on the regular, but it was accidental. It was like, damn, every, cause he drove trucks and it's like, every time we talk, nigga, my period on or but some I'm shit, saying, or I got but Corona, even, nigga. But not even so just, just for you just, though, but like generally like for women, like why do they give out their number with the intention of ghosting? Like why, why give out, why not give out a fake number? I don't know. Or, I'm or, just going to be or, like, nah, I'm good. Or they, or they give you their social media or something. I'm going to say, no, nah, I'm good. But look, so, okay. So Is it, I heard a chick say they, they felt scared to tell I was just about to say that some women are not as, like, out outspoken. Like, I'm going to say, you know, I ain't going for no shit. Right. 
But some women don't have that in them to just be like, no, I'm okay. Because there's been so much bullshit going on. Like, you tell a nigga, no, you don't want to give him his, your number. And then he fucking shoot at your ass. Because you want to hear a... Uh, oh, my God. Jesus it be some Christ. wild shit going on. Cooks. I mean, it they don't be, happen. It, it they, happens. Be, they be shooting? They be doing everything. They'll be the bitch ass. Be oh, bitch. my God. You don't hear about that shit in the news. You ain't yeah, they, right. niggas do be... Bruh, you want to hear a video of uh, yeah, a video of my homeboy I mean, trying to holler at her? Gotta chill. Like y'all, some of y'all niggas gotta really trying be to able to take who? rejection. For trying real. to holler at you? Like, Somebody trying to holler at me? Yeah, I got it on video. I run that shit. Hold on, I gotta find. Oh, it. Down. Did I did I curve him? Bad, nice. bad as fuck. That's why what you just said just reminded me of that shit. <laughs> Literally everything you said on this pod just reminded me of it. You said the I don't drink like that and you be fucked up. You said that Here shit. Is, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like no what drug up said? ass nigga. I forgot what I don't else like you that. said. You can smoke. Some nigga might pop a little half a perk, a little five every now and then. Every now and then. Also, we about to go out of town to turn up. But, you know, anything else? Uh-uh. So, so now that, that since we are alive. Wait, wait, wait. Not can, even no can nigga niggas that at you? Can, are you single? Like I was saying, not even no nigga <laughs> who, you can't even be no nigga who pop one perk a month. Like, no, there's got to be some months in between. Like, no. It what if I broke my ankle? I got some ibuprofen 800. I'm, I'm a vet. I got good meds. <laughs> I like, I like the perks, though. <laughs> no. No. Nah. But here it go right here. I'm going to send it to you so you can put it on the screen if you want to put it on the screen. Here it go. Turn it up. Man, this bitch don't want to goddamn play. It was just playing. Turn it up. Hold up, it's about to play. Somebody stole my phone, so I got the bat phone. And he's a little fat over there. Nah, that bit little. I'm talking about it's the back of it. Why is it so deep? Oh, because because I'm lame. I got a wallet. <laughs> on my phone. It's almost goddamn. All right. He's scooping. He's scooping up his uh burrito. It dropped on the floor. I'm mean, on the uh table. Talking to one of my homeboys. He gonna talk to her now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Now he about to holler at her. Not lean over. Oh, hold up. Now he leaned over. That nigga about laid on my damn shoulder. What kind of dusty shit is going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Did you see how I was sitting? Did you see how I already was like, Yeah. I, like, I gotta find the rest you know of the you o- He knew he was over playing. Like, bro, come on. You know you so over playing. Like, you knew. You oh, knew. Oh, oh, you want to know the background to that? That nigga was fucked up. Yeah, he was fucked up. He was fucked up. Damn, Damn I, I gotta get video. to the good part. Because I know I chumped some shit off. But, quick. like, I don't, I don't think it's nothing wrong with, like, dreaming, though. Like, you know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, that wasn't no motherfucking like, dream. That was a nightmare. Like, but, nigga, but niggas know, niggas know who they are. We just, we be dreaming for real, like we be knowing what's out of what's out our reach for real. No, we just willing. Because why the fuck he thought I was within reach? You you saw that video. But look, we look. Sometimes we shoot jumpers. Sometimes we make, shoot a layup. Sometimes we shoot jumpers from the parking lot. That nigga oh, is all of four feet five <laughs> trying to dunk. <laughs> hey, he ain't that show, but he is. So. I'm just saying that's the comparison. <laughs> He's like that. Oh, there you go. He tried to give her the burrito. <laughs> What is he doing? It's still early here. That's why we ain't with no way. It's almost goddamn. Why are they allowing this to happen? Look at that. 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 Look you ain't fucking nothing tonight. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I ain't remember this shit. Nah, he about to say it. Here it come. He just said it. My ass about to be damn right. My ass about to be damn right. She said you damn right I ain't fucking I ain't fucking Don't worry about who I'm fucking You need to be in your damn pool And my nigga fucking business 
Period. Hey, what's your name? Because you don't know me. You heard me? And you don't know me. I don't drink, so I don't be fucked up. See, I told you. <laughs> I was about to get, look, then he said, by the time you do get drunk, I'm gonna fuck the hell out of you. <laughs> what I just said when he said that shit? You told a nigga to eat his burrito. Yeah, I thought that was just I'm gonna, bro, I'm gonna send that video to you, cuz. That video funny as hell. Put that shit on the screen, bro. Oh, man. I'm weak as Straight the fuck up. I don't know what the fuck you talking about, but you damn right I ain't fucking nothing tonight. You damn right, nigga. So what 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 is up with, eat with fucking burrito? What is with up with some women like being angry at like their lack of accountability? I don't know, man. Cause sometimes I don't like to accept blame too. Sometimes I, a lot of the times I accept that shit, especially when it's something serious. But sometimes, god damn it, you just be like, look, bitch. I might have started this shit, but I started this shit from some shit that I was feeling that your ass motherfucking did. Whether it was two weeks ago or two days or two years ago, bitch, I felt it. And it came up and I flipped out. No, oh, yeah. I'm going to apologize about two weeks, though. My mind might apologize about three days. <laughs> I'm a sad. But why even, like, but why even create the Sometimes you can't it? control it. Sometimes you can't hold it in. So, so it are you bubbling. saying sometimes y'all lack some self-control? Let me tell you what it is. A lot of women don't they'll sit there for years and not speak on something that's really bothering them so then when they finally speak on it it blows up out so of but, but, but but why blow up at me just because i said it? but look like i said sometimes it's just it might be the you goddamn like, you might have put the sprinkles on the your, your home cake. girl your home girl can say tell you some real ass shit like bitch you fucking up you keep getting pregnant this that and the third she know me she's allowed to but say that but she if i say me. but if i say Hey man, it's not necessarily a good look to be out here getting. Cause it. goddamn it, sometimes I don't want to hear that shit from nobody else. Like your mama can tell you some shit that can't nobody. But else why is it? Cause I'm a man. It, it it it's it's wrong. The same way your what mama and wrong? your daddy can tell you some shit about yourself, and can't nobody else tell you that shit. Cause I mean, like, but, hold but, on, my mama can say that shit, but you can't. But say I don't that have shit. no issue with somebody telling me something about myself. You feel me? Like, like especially if it's something I actually do. It's all about and it, and then it's like it gives me an opportunity to uh. <laughs> Better myself if it's somewhat if it's if it's that significant. It's you know what all I'm about the delivery. Some people aren't receptive or receptive of everything. Like some people, you could just say some shit to, and they'll accept it and be okay. Some people, you have to like kind of, you know, dress it up a little bit and say it to them, oh, or make it a little man. nice. You know what I'm saying? A butter microwave. It should be some. It should matter of fact. It should be some uh, stemless wine glasses. Okay, man. just like so. Just like with kids, some kids when you playing sports, you could tell a kid, you could yell at him and be like, "Hey, get your eye on the ball, woo woo woo," and they'll mm -hmm. get it and be okay. Another kid, you might have to be like, "Okay, now, little Johnny, I need you to get your head in the game. You got this." You know what I'm saying? Some mm -hmm. people need that pep talk, got which it. is if you don't click with that type of person, then you just need to go and find somebody. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. I mean, but that boy, I ain't gonna be that, explaining every motherfucking thing. But that boils down to that communication as well. Like, dudes got to be like. Slim, what did you say? Uh, somebody said that do you feel like he feel like dudes should just be quiet. No, don't be quiet. Uh, and, and, that, and that what you told me? He said, man, I feel like feel like man, uh, dudes should just be quiet and not say nothing. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He 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 did say that shit. You know what I'm saying? And like that's part of the problem. That means like if you're not saying anything, that means you're putting up with things and you're allowing things to happen in your relationship that, and you're not speaking on it. So over time, what does that build up? What's some form of like resentment, some anger? You know what I'm saying? It's gonna build some tension in the relationship. Oh, and that's how that's how shit be happening when niggas be like, "Oh well, why come?" Like how y'all say, "Why the relationship over when the, when the female unhappy or whatever?" Because ain't nobody tell your ass to sit up in this relationship with me and be the fuck unhappy and not express your motherfucking feelings and say how the fuck you feel. If you wanted to leave fucking three years ago, you should have fucking said that. Why the fuck you wait till I'm fed up till I want to leave? Mm -hmm. Why? Because you don't want to hurt my feelings? Because then, God damn it, now your, your feelings motherfucking hurt. And what about right. that? Now you sitting there I mean, and sitting in that your feelings if you're sitting, hurt. If you're sitting you back just... just your motherfucking if you're, mind and got your happiness. Right. Got if your you're peace. sitting back just putting up with stuff, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, I ain't going that doesn't you. make sense. And now, now you, I'm now y'all don't got so angry at each other for because of lack of communication. Now your sex life fucked up, yeah. and you wonder why your motherfuckers coming home and not talking to each other, and y'all sleeping butt to butt now. A boring, yeah, a boring you know ass routine. Go to work, come home, eat, shower, go to bed. 
how was your day good yours good okay good night love you barely probably not even saying i love you no more like people get stuck in the same boring ass routine like take that nigga on a date take that bitch on a date i can't do something i can't sit there and allow like well how am i how am i calling myself a man if i just put up with shit how you call because i mean like that doesn't even make sense not even that, just as an adult. Like, why are you not, if something bothers you, just speak on it. Just right, it's you. okay to say what you do and don't like. Like, for me, right, everybody has their pet peeves, what they do, don't like, what they're going to put up with, what they're not going to put up with. But be self, self-aware self enough to not put up with none of that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, why endure it? Yeah. Like, me, like, I'm a person. I like the women I deal with to be on time. I know women are late. But if I, my only ask is to be on time, baby, give me that. I ain't asking for shit else. Yeah. Man, I don't give a damn. I ain't gonna lie. So look, let me like, tell you. I'm a punctual. I don't like being. So look, lady. let me tell you what it is about that because it depends on who I'm dealing with as to how I'ma act. Mm. I didn't. It's one nigga I done dealt with. When that man used to tell me, "We going out of town this weekend. Be ready to get on the road at 11 a.m." <laughs> Guess who's packed and ready at 10:30? With my bags already by the front door. Me. Because I already knew, like, okay, this nigga me in business. I know we about to have fun. You know what I'm saying? That's the nigga that you really like you have fun with. You know what I'm saying? You know it's about to be something. He's probably more than likely that nigga. You know mm. what I'm saying? But it's another nigga that I done dealt with where I be like, eh, they tell me, you know, let's do something at 3 o'clock. I know they going to be late. So I might not be ready at about 3.30. Because I know you ain't going you gonna to call me at 3.15. Hey, you ready? I ain't heard from you. Bitch, if you wanted me to be on time, you would have been hitting me up. Because that other nigga, even though he said be ready at 11 o'clock, he's already calling me at 9.30. Hey, what you doing? Is your bags packed? Right. Is you ready? Because I know this nigga going to be on time. I know right. this nigga me in business. He Cause done like, put his like, I'm going to respect your time as well. Like, if we supposed to be somewhere, what I look like being late? You I'm know what I'm saying? Like, your time as much as if you respect If mine. we say we're going to meet up at somewhere to, at a restaurant and you there on time, but I'm 30 minutes late, how you going to look at me now? I'm not feel some type of way. You know what I'm saying? You might not even go through with the date. Cause I'm, you might I'm even pull it off about this shit. Like, man, fuck it. Because what I said earlier about Slim, I said, I'm the woman. I was supposed to be late. How the hell I'm on time? Right. You know, and I my, said and my that thing earlier. is like, if you're going to be on time for work, you can be on time with me. You know? I mean, because yeah. time is time time ain't necessarily always money, but I could be spending my time no, doing I mean, something my else. My time is important because at the end you know of the day, I don't go out. I don't do shit. I don't be kicking it with niggas. Right, I could, I could so spend more time with my you daughter. If I'm giving you time or... and you play with that shit, right. I'm, I ain't really trying to give my time no more. You really, I really ain't trying to fuck with you. You got about good two times to play with my time before I start treating you like a regular nigga. Right. Like, now you're somebody who I'm going I'm to keep it real short and simple because I don't give out my number. I don't fuck with niggas already. <clears throat> so if I'm fucking with you, I need you to appreciate that because I'm going to appreciate you fucking with me. Because I'm only fucking with a certain type of nigga anyway. You know what's up with me. So, if I'm respecting you, respect me. Right. Yeah, I had to uh, go get some wine real quick. I, but, I was going to uh, ask, could yeah, you, you pour me back. up too? Because you got <laughs> a big <laughs> ass glass. It, okay, okay. You glass. came back real cute, you. Slim. You got your... Nah, my homeboy was trying to get me to get him a cup, but I just did a, a whole bunch of extra shit. I told him if you bring it over here, he can get a cup. So this yeah, shit, yeah, all right though. Yeah, 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 you see how they, please, see, see, I got you. I got you. That's how we don't slam that shit. He ain't even offer us none. I was about to. I was just about to ask y'all. But look, look, look. What I said earlier: if ain't nobody offering something, you gotta ask for it. I mean, close mouth don't get fed. Period. You're 100 right and about that. Eat. But and before I pour the glasses, though, back to the video, though. You ain't had to chunk my homeboy off that bad, though. <laughs> that man was tripping talking about you ain't fucking that and you motherfucking right <laughs> and that clear straight to the point we ain't got nothing to talk about. I ain't fucking hey that. I forgot he had said that shit too you know that shit is kind of funny though that nigga said you ain't fucking nothing though he's but sitting you see? there drunk with his shirt off holding a burrito that but, looked like he reheated bro he crushed up he crushed up some Percocets and put it in the Corona and chugged it Lee, he was turned he was trying to fight everybody that night too that shit was so crazy Trying to fight. Let me tell you how he two piece a nigga and then tried to walk over and talk to me. Bitch, I will shoot your ass. Don't so, come over here. Yeah, I almost makes me want to ask Why were you even there? Why was he there? He was the only eyeball. Why was he there? He, <laughs> she right. She right. Everybody she was right. regular. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we was Nobody in there playing cards. We was chilling. He had done got a ride over there. Like, bitch, I'm here. What's up, friends? Like, yeah. Then I called his mama to come get him, and that nigga swung on me. Kick this cop. He kicked his mama car. They had to like grab him and toss him in the car, lock him in the car, and pull off. Y'all live after that, didn't y'all? 
Did we? Yeah, because we fought again after that. Y'all had me blocked in. That's the only reason I couldn't leave. Yeah. His mama truck was blocking me in. Had she not been blocking me in, I was out. That was the first time we fought. Then after they left, we fought again, and I blacked both that nigga eyes. He swung that nigga on Cam. Was sad as fuck. He two piece Cam. Yeah. Ass. Cam was so he, calm. About he got him. on Cam ass though. But Cam wasn't trying to fight him though. Cam was like, we know he fucked up right now, but I'm like, nah, I would have had to beat that nigga after that. Um, we. But it was like, shit. You see how straight to the point I was, and I got back to rolling my blunt. I was cool. I don't have to so yell the chum. I wanted to ask you something, Jaleesa. Can you tell the people, like, how do I treat the women I like? You treat them good now, I ain't gonna lie. He treat them good, y'all. He be tricking. Because they think, they think I just hate women like, he be like, tricking. like all women the same or something. And from what? Never mind. He be tricking. <laughs> the bitches like Brandon. They love Brandon, okay? My, my, look. I say my friends, look, when I, now, right now, when I'm speaking right now, just for this podcast purposes, when I say friends, I'm using that term loosely. But <laughs> my friends love Brandon, okay? Hey. The girls, and I mean girls, I mean... You know. I mean, you know, I'm a good guy though. I'm a good guy. I ain't, I don't, I ain't, I ain't as wild. The girl as chromosomes as well. XX type girls, <laughs> like natural, I do because you got to be specific. Yeah, they, they, I don't know why they, they love thinking, like, Brandon. Okay, I, I be hating women. Like, he man, don't I'm hate just, women. I really just be trying to speak on the things we we niggas don't. That nigga be, be popping this shit, and y'all be letting that shit get y'all. If y'all don't goddamn fire that nigga up, ignore him or something like that. Like, right. I mean, and if you're not that type of woman, have, like he said, have some dialogue about it, because he if could it say it a general apply, statement. Let it fly. Period. And then sometimes a nigga opposes status. Nigga don't feel like he's explaining a paragraph worth worth of status. Like sometimes I just want to say this. And I want y'all to know that I'm talking they be, about. They be this trying to, they be trying to like add Not to the text. Women. Like I'm, like I'm only saying this with like what, what I wrote. Ain't you no know what it, bitch. Ain't no reading between the lines because ain't no motherfucking lines. It is what it is. Right. What? Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate. Oh, you that. got that shit. This shit cold. Yeah, that be, that's why I asked for some. I saw the sweat on the bottle. Oh, oh, damn, I was like, nigga, can you bring me my wine? <laughs> oh, he got wine delivery. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Big slim. Big Slim. That's a tag. We might that's to, a tag. We might need to record that for you, bro. Ooh, yeah, that's big a good drop right up. <laughs> Let me get that so I can have that drop on my pod. Oh, yeah. I'm to be sleep. <sighs> yeah, man, because you got to start being nicer to the bitches, dog. He do. He got His I delivery can't be so them. brash. Yeah. It got to be a little bit but softer. See, but, the, but see, the, again, the, I need... The soft, del- okay. So, do you feel like a woman, you you as a woman, know how men talk? I mean, I be around y'all niggas enough. I be All right. So, enough. so when it come to talking about y'all, why y'all be trying to change that? If y'all know how we talk already, you know what I'm saying. I don't try to change it because you know. You feel me, like, but that's what, but, I, but that's what I mean, you know, like, if if women say if women can say they know how men talk, we why do niggas, I need to hope, soften the me? blow? Because, bro, it's it's not obvious. the message. Excuse me, it's not the messenger. It's the message, bro. It's like, the delivery too. Yeah, yeah. You it's don't have to say, like. How you say it. You, but again, like, I'm you don't not, have to be I'm so not, straightforward. She said that before we start recording. She was talking about how like, like it's weird as hell if a man go on a date with you and be like, "What do you bring to the table?" I agree. That shit is yeah, weird that as shit hell. Is weird. <laughs> yeah, ask that, me like a that's something we say like for for content. Ask it, like, yeah. That's not that's not like a real question you ask on a and date. And see, people. Yeah. That's why we talking about it now because people think that niggas is really out here. Like, what do you bring to the table? I think niggas are really out. Ever I, no, me I, on I, a date I truly believe. That. No, I truly believe Kevin Samuels has fucked some niggas up. Yeah, I think he, so too. No, no, like yeah. no, I agree. I I, I do believe Kevin Samuels has gave give given some niggas some false sense of confidence because because they're taking what he's saying as like law. And it's like, bro, like and it's you have to direct. He's being very broad in general. Yeah, like, but you have to know how to separate what applies to you from Kevin Samuels, right? You can't just take that shit and be like, "So what do you bring to the table?" And mm-hmm. now you're leftovers and right. like, what you're the fuck, bro? Shit, like, well, like, what no, you, you work? You, what no, do you like you, to do? You don't actually say that to a have woman you're been, dealing have you with. Been. That's, you know. Hey, hey, but you know it goes both ways too. Cause like when I be scrolling through Facebook and I see all the bitter single bitches, and they be like, uh, "If I go fifty fifty, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't bringing no pussy to the relationship." But see, and the, pussy the, costs forty dollars, so that's but, fine. But you know what? Those women that say I ain't going fifty fifty don't understand. We ain't always talking about money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We swapping it out. You know what I'm saying? If you cooking, I'm cleaning. You okay. know what I'm saying? I agree. That, that's what fifty fifty is. It don't mean I'm paying half of the fucking bills. I can be paying all the bills, but I'm swapping that shit out so I ain't got to clean the crib. 
Yeah, we can be 50 50. You feel me? Like, I'm, I'm swapping out paying all the bills so I don't have to clean my crib. Bro, you know what's we crazy? We can be 50 50 emotionally and not financially. You feel me? Yeah. Like, Bro, you know what's crazy, though? I don't mind paying all the bills, but it's like, what I want for that, you're going to want to pay the bills. <laughs> yeah, I, no I don't so mind paying for some shit. <laughs> Bitch, yeah. I, yeah. I, I like to do. I like to come and go as I please. So, but, but like, I always. actually would like it if I got to pay all the bills and you did everything that I wanted. I would love that shit. Yeah, like, like it ain't. It ain't always about the actual. Hey, so you're gonna pay half of the rent, and I'm gonna pay the other half. That's not actually what fifty fifty means. That's a weird conversation too to have with somebody. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you you, you gonna you gonna pay half. Yeah, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. about this. <laughs> like no, like if you're the better cook, I would expect you to cook more. Yeah, than I would. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. If, that's, but that's if you're better at folding the clothes, like you know what? I'm good at picking, yeah. putting the bitches in the washing machine and moving to the dryer. <laughs> I, but see, I think nowadays I everybody thinks shit is black and white. Mm-hmm. When really, like the relationship shit is for like, you know, what works for you. It really is. Facts. And, and the relationship. Yeah. But, which really- is why we need to talk. Shutting the fuck up doesn't make sense. But people don't. People think that I actually communicate with women like this the same way on the internet. Yeah. Like my, what my what I say on the internet is not how I interact with a woman. And any woman that knows me knows that whether I've been intimate with you or not. You know what I'm saying? Because Jaleesa, I've known her for ten years. I have plenty of oppor- I have I've had plenty of opportunities to try to get some of that pussy. <laughs> Never try. Plenty. Because we kick plenty. it out of time. We kick it solo. We but kick it in. What group. a gentleman. We kick it at a party. My boy <laughs> ain't saying, never man. came in me sideways. I'm, I'm extremely never. respectful. When women are around, they know damn well I'm going to protect them. For sure. They know that. Any woman that knows me know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, I, but what has, to be, be what has to be understood is that I have to say, <laughs> what has to be understood is that I have to say it a certain way in order to create the conversation. Oh, for the record, too. Even if you did try, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, though. but I have. You know, I tell a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I ain't yeah. gonna lie. One thing I ain't about it. Lie. I ain't Facebook, no. I'm gonna say what the fuck on my mind. I'm gonna say some yeah, shit. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm not. I'm, anything I say, but like, pe- people that know me know I'm I'm really living like this for real. I ain't, this ain't no new cooks. Cooks, I ain't like man this. look. Cooks, I ain't about five bitches close to me, so it ain't, hey. Hey, but cook. I'm barricaded by bitches that he, he this nigga can't even see me type shit. To, we can't even see each other to even try no shit like that. Yeah. No, hell no. Nah. But cooks, we gotta These start. Bitches too. We gotta save the back and forth for people with substance for good conversation. Yeah, yeah. Not for bad like, conversation. Yeah, bro. like some some people jokes just be bad, you know, bro. The them just they don't be argue. funny, dog. Like, you said what? It's the internet. They want to argue and drama gets yeah. views. Drama gets attention. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I know people want attention. That's why they That's why they invest in it. But you know what? The thing is... they said you want attention. You be talking about them bitches. They going to beat your ass. <laughs> 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 we about to get cooked. But the thing is, look, these, these, security. Folk, these folk be in my comments, da, 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 da. They, they see this shit. They see me in person. You know what they be like? I said, bro, they, they be like, bro, you the most hated on the internet, but I fuck with you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or some hey, bitches just hey, ignore my like, I can't stand like, that bald head ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, or. <laughs> you or, cool with Cook? You, you, you really cool with him for real? Like, well, I'm really cool as fuck. You cool with Cook? I be like, yeah. <laughs> People really ask me, you cool with him? I be like, yeah. They be like, mm. And you know my nose. I just be like, what, what happened, girl? <laughs> and then they spill the beans. They be spilling the beans. And I just be like, because of that? Okay. Yeah, that shit do be some crazy shit. You know, but um, but the people in the comment, like the thing is, I'm building traction. That's that's what it's for. It's building traction. If you on my page, what are you doing? You're that means you're investing Minding in my me. business. You're giving me your time. Thinking you know about what I'm saying? It. You going you going and doing research. You going back and watching sit downs with Slim. We going back. They going back Getting and watching. The they going back and watching more than masters. Yeah. You feel me? Like. What the? What, what you mean? What you mean? If they, and they can call it clout, they can call it attention, but they not the ones with a motherfucking microphone. They helping out though. You feel me? Like I'm gonna have, what, let's create the conversation. You can, you can, you can go back and talk about me all you want to, because the people that know me know me for real. They, they know, they know any any bullshit you got to say, especially if you're trying to question my sexuality. They gonna look at you crazy. Crazy as hell. Just don't sag his pants no more. <laughs> you feel me? Like, if anything, if anything, anyway. th- if anything, they should be nervous that I'm standing next to a bitch you want. Yeah. Cause you know what, bro, like my homegirls. You know what my homegirls will purposely do? They'll go out with me just to for me to stand next to them so another nigga don't holler. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, they, cause they know they ain't gonna have to worry about the, nothing. Shall be you. And it ain't even me being no gangster. You know what I'm saying? But but motherfuckers know what it is for real. They know. They know. One they of my ex, one of my exes thought that me and him was fucking. Mm. And when he said it, I froze. I was like, "You're not talking about Brandon Cooks." Cause I mean, that's it's only one Cooks, but you're not talking about him, are you? He was like, "Yeah." I was like, "Nigga." But but Be see but yourself, see that bro. that is a form of like. How niggas is really intimidated by me being around your chick for real? You never, really, you like really crazy. scared. And yeah. I never even thought he thought. God, like damn, that. he done and fucked he, her too. And then he <laughs> shit. said shit years after, years after our situation. He said that shit, and I was like, nah, you definitely tripping. I was like, it ain't never been nothing like that. Like what you don't motherfucking know is I'm at Cook's late night. I'm at Cook's house late night because I'm dropping bitches off. Fuck is you talking about? This girl done <sighs> asked me. This girl done asked me to get her a ride from the club. Sensation. Sent, yeah, me and I used to stay in Hillsborough. I had to pass downtown. Oh, yes. Jaleesa would definitely what? drop off the birds at the crib. I definitely drop them off, and I keep it moving. Take my ass on to Hillsborough, because I'm finna leave first. I don't fucking drink. I don't care. I mean, wine, maybe. But I don't care for that, so I smoke my little weed, and I get the fuck on. I come to the party, support, buy some shit, say hey. So, so Anna, I'm out. What, besides, make sure y'all follow her. Uh, I'm a first of all. Uh, <laughs> she don't be trolling like she used to though. Yeah, she been. You out gotta crank that shit back up. She in jail. I think I want to pay. Anna Page in jail. GG. Five long. I got eleven more days. Ten more days. Mm. You need to crank that shit back up. No, because they're gonna see this and be like, "Oh my god, I might like her." So, she's, so she's cool. What would you have to say? My page and be like, "This bitch get low as fuck." <laughs> <laughs> my nigga, cool as fuck. No, nah, but uh, what would you have to say to all the women out there and men actually that feel like um, they may agree with some of these people that may feel like I'm a homosexual? This nigga not gay. He is far from and gay. I, and that I, I hate never women. got a gay feeling from him, a gay vibe or nothing. Trust me, I'd be the first motherfucker to say, "Nah, he a little." Mm-mm. But any bitch that ever asked me about him, I done gave them the real, and they done they done went. <laughs> And these ain't no weird ass bitches. These bitches ain't no weird ass bitches who like be on some crazy shit. These bitches like straight men. Yeah, yeah, like that, that shit. That to me, to He's me, slam bro, like real shit. It. That shit to me is so so narrow minded. Like to me, that that's why women like that that have that mindset to me. Um, is is why they end up in that cycle of dealing with the same kind of niggas over and over and over again. Cause they yeah, feel like a man is like, the cause they look at men as like they're supposed to be one thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if that if that man doesn't possess whatever those things are, then we're not of interest to her. That's toxic, you, though. You know what I'm saying? You want to be hard all the time? What the all fuck the is time? that? Like, you don't ever want to relax and just kick it. You want to be a thug all the time. <laughs> you don't want to be our baby. You don't want to lay in my lap and let me rub right, your man. hair. Like I don't got no reason. You want to be, be tough all the time. What I look like being gangster for no fucking reason. That that sounds like energy. I don't. We get want tired to of that use. shit. We want our niggas to goddamn be a little bit more gentler with us, like bro. But you know, see, niggas don't believe that gentler. because uh, gentler. You seen the podcast I did with Whitney, and then I was asking her, and she was like, she was like, yeah, you know, I want I want men to be softer, da da da. Then, like, 20 seconds later, she's like, oh, no, I don't like no bitch-ass nigga. Okay, so right, look, right, let right. me explain that. We want our men to be softer towards us. Yeah. Like, when you in the street, do what you got to do. and Whatever you got to do and be, whatever you got to carry yourself out there, carry yourself. But when you in this house, you don't have to be all through that all the time. You don't have to goddamn walk around with your gun in your hand all the time. Like, bro, put that shit, put that shit on the couch. We chilling on the couch. Put that shit right there within reach and leave it right there. I got okay. mine. We good. So you basically saying like niggas when they when relax. they get around women they just need to diffuse themselves. Like, yeah, like they like still be relax. on that thug ass shit, and it's like, bro, you talking to me like I'm your fine ass homeboy. <laughs> we kind of like that shit though. <laughs> but damn, all the time, like I'm all dainty, I'm cute. I got on my little, you know, whatever top. A nigga yanked my arm, my titty pop out. Like, why is you grabbing me like that? <laughs> Touch my leg, or, you know, politely caress my yeah. arm or something soft like that. I'm going to come to you. That's where I be winning. I'm going to come to you. That's where I be winning. Man, you get to touching our leg or you say, come sit by Man, me. What? In a nice manner. Look, look, bro, I'm look. Hey, Slim, I'll tell you some oh, game, bro. Come on. You know how to, do when you when you do shit to check boxes to make a woman want to be around you, bro, I swear to God, you can tell a woman what to do. 
Do we be with that shit? Like, I, t- like, I tell women what to do all the time. Like, like for example, like, if she was a woman I'm dealing with, I could say, come sit over here. I ain't ask her. But I mean, that means she gonna daddy do if we listening. If we listening. Feel like me? Like, like she gonna move. Like, come sit in my lap. She gonna do it. Not because not because I'm I'm trying to act like I'm a fucking pimp or 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 I'm saying that I oh my bitch gonna do what I tell her I to mean, do. But if you tell I got me to come sit in your lap like that, I know you about to drop some dick, and if you drop dick good, then I'm about to come in your lap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you want it's, me to bring it's really some Kool Aid. I gotta pee real quick. You want me to bring some Kool Aid out the kitchen? <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. But if you a nigga who I done tried to let you drop dick, or you just lame, it's like you say, come sit in my lap. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm good. No, thank you. <laughs> uh-uh, so what, you need me to, what you need to be touching me for? You, you good. Like she did my homeboy in the video. So I eat your potato. <laughs> a burrito. He kept calling that shit a potato. <laughs> he was too aggressive. You ain't trying to fuck nothing. No, I'm not. <laughs> you better leave me the fuck alone, because I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Hey, sometimes that aggressive shit work, but not that kind of no, aggressive. That aggressive, kind of aggressive. Wow. Yeah, when you drugged out. Like, yeah. No. Yeah, he, he was sloppy with it. He the only nigga with no shirt yeah, on. Aggressive shit only work and, if. And you're eating a reheated a burrito. It's situational. That bitch used to be hindo. If I've been looking at you at the club all night and we flirting or wherever we at and you come over there on that cute ass aggressive shit, like, what's up? Give me your number. I'd be like, okay. But if I ain't been checking you out. And I be looking past you with your homeboy, and you come up to me now. I got to curve you, and I got to curve you strong, so your homeboy know I wasn't fucking with you, cause I want to fuck with your homeboy. It working, or or if you a nigga I'm already fucking with, you can be aggressive with me. With certain times though, if I know you about to drop dick, you gonna be aggressive. You can tell me my bring your said, ass my here. My nigga said you ain't fucking man. Basically. You damn right. <laughs> <laughs> You damn right. <laughs> and then when I said you damn right, I thought that was gonna kill the conversation. I, you know, I, you yeah, did Slim, it. you don't know. I got I got nicknames that I can't use. What you mean? If that makes sense. What you mean? That like I can't I can't sit here and say it out of my mouth. Oh, what, the women basically. have to speak for me in reference to it. <laughs> what's really going baby, on? I be like, saying B D Brandon. They think I'm saying baby daddy, but you know what that means. My <laughs> hey, my home girls be telling me like girl and then the thing that be creeping me out sometimes, they'll be like, Girl, you ain't never seen his dick and I'll be like, Ugh like, what, what you mean? Like, you know that's my friend, right? Like this is a genuine friend. Like, no, I ain't yeah, never like, seen his dick. I ain't never seen the dick print. Any any type of anything he done ever sent my homegirls when they try to show me, I'll be like, uh uh-uh, uh, no, no. That's my friend. No, it's different. I sent. You be sending this? dick pics? No, it wasn't a dick print, but it was a it was a dick print. Oh. And in the picture, it was oh. dick print. And when oh. she said that, nah, I believe that nigga be sending dick pics though. Because no. that was her first time seeing it, and I'm guessing so. When I have she no said reason. It, to, I was bro, like, bro, no, bro, I don't have to do that. Why? I was like, don't make it weird. I don't Excuse have me. to. I don't have to send a fucking dick pic. It's fucking weird. Nah, it was just it happened to be a print in a picture, and I, I didn't look at it because I was like, don't don't make it weird. Like just you you keep that for you because if my nigga send me a picture with a dick print, I'm not gonna show you. So just let's keep it separate because then you're gonna be <laughs> then when, we, when you get around this, you're gonna be like, damn, what's up? What's nigga up? Johnny with the big and shit. dick. So what? I said you think you the game and shit. No, send a dick print. Pic, no, bro, I, don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. That, that shit weird. I, I, I mean, have I done it in my life? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And never to Did me. Did I realize how corny that shit was? Yes. But see, look, though, the picture, she didn't say the picture was corny. She ain't had nothing bad to say about the picture. It's just when she tried to show me, I was like, mm. leave it where it's at. That's you. Leave it. So what's up with niggas just DMing? Uh, I call it just sending in the, uh, the hammer. Like niggas just straight <laughs> send the dick off dick. If you have a pretty dick. Has that shit ever worked? Hold on, say that one time. If you have a pretty dick, keep it coming. <laughs> oh okay So that shit has worked Sensation. I ain't say it worked I just said If you have a pretty dick Keep it coming I'm not finna What's a pretty dick That sounds disgusting I ain't gonna cap you down So you won't know Because I'm pretty sure You don't look at dicks But Yeah A nice One that matches The girth and the length matches It's not too wide At the tip It's not too You can't have it It can't be like this Skinny at the base Wide at the tip It can't be like this Like just a nice natural It can have a curve Or whatever the fuck It wanna have As long as it's just a nice Proportionate Dick, put some put some so oil on that so, motherfucker so that when you send so the pictures. Saying, Moisturize it. Moisturize it. Yeah, and we like jacking videos, especially if you gonna moan and come. 
Just put that That's in That's nasty as fuck. They can record himself jacking his wood and shit. That shit crazy. I don't know. It's not. <laughs> that shit crazy. No, it's not. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not sitting in the rooms and jacking my wood on camera. Before, I've done it before. Are you a nasty nigga, nigga? If I got a nigga and he send me a jacking video, I'm probably gonna be mad. Like, why you can't? Why you just ain't call me? Because I like that. <laughs> I like that. Send me a video. Oh, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one, two, and three. I'm, I am. I send you a video back, but I'd rather just pull up. Just come over here and do that. See, dog, this type of shit is foreign to me. Like, Especially I got so many questions. Town, like, video. nigga, where are you sitting at when you doing this, my nigga? I don't like, give a fuck how was you your position? Just don't let the background be dirty. <laughs> you can be outside on the back porch in the yard. Just pick a nice patch of grass. I don't give a fuck. You can be in your car. You can be in a bathroom sitting on the toilet as long as the inside of the toilet clean. If I can see in there, as long as the floor clean, I don't give a fuck where you at. Be in your bed. Get comfortable. <laughs> Niggas just yeah, on camera bed, get jacking. Comfortable. Lock your door too so you can be extra comfortable in the video. I want to hear a little bit of moans with it. Where would you sit now when you sit your jacking video cooks? I was standing. <laughs> Why you was standing? No, no, the angle, then that ain't even that, good. Your knees get no, to no, locking up. Just relax. No, 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 no. This is quality content. Okay, okay the angle okay. was the angle was sensational. Okay, sensational. Well, yeah, if you got a nice carpet, that's cool too. Put some. You hey, know, set up the yeah. background. Have some lights or something. Do some cute shit. Get you a furry blanket, my nigga. It could yeah. be a little small ass. <laughs> this nigga could have got the spot set up to like you know uh, for a girl to be interested. Let me I tell you something. Questions. Just look around and shit. Those this, if I lived here and I made content here for my nigga, not content. Oh, it's not like I'm selling some shit. Some if I was sending my shit. nigga a video, I don't have all that. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm sending my nigga a video, I'm going to prop my camera right here by the TV. Got the little pictures in the background and I'm on the couch with it. You can see everything. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> open with it. Yeah. Hey, so that man, leg ain't go up that high now. I got on pants and I'm on camera. <laughs> I'm a lady on camera. I don't I'm do that just type fucking of stuff. with you. Why you ain't fucking with OnlyFans? I ain't for sale in that type of way. I don't sell no coochie, no pictures. I ain't me. I sell feet pictures though, for sure, all day. Feet and nail pictures all day. <laughs> oh yeah, I get paid for that. No cap. How do you sell a foot pic to the weird niggas online? And let me tell you about it. It be the niggas who you least expect. They don't even be weird. Like, the first the first time I ever was doing that, I ain't going to tell y'all when. I ain't going to put no specifics on it. But the first time I ever did this shit, it was one of my homeboys. This is not weird in no type of way. I never thought he did that. Yeah, now that you say it, I got a couple homeboys that like feet, too. Yeah, feet and nail pictures. I just flick it up. Oh, why they like the nail pics? I don't fucking know, and Maybe I don't ask no fucking questions. What, I don't ask what? shit, and my nails glow in the dark. Man, so I cut the lights off and say, I think I think they're fantasizing the about dark. the hands around the. I, I don't give a fuck what you fantasizing about. about. You want Maybe, the pictures of Maybe, my nails? I don't know. Come on, I don't know. Because that's all you gonna get. I still don't get the feet shit. Me I never got that shit. I don't, I don't get it either. And that's the thing. I don't even think my feet fire like that. Like I don't even. I don't get it. Yeah, all right. I had a girl ask me to uh, suck her toes one time. She had a corn bigger than my shit on her foot. She ain't at least try to cut that hole down. Nah, that oh, shit was God, just there. See. And we was on a rooftop in Houston. Both Good feet. mood. Did both feet have corns? Yes. Damn, I was Ooh. about to say she was supposed to put the pretty foot up there. And and that bitch was like six two. <laughs> <laughs> she hoop? No. Play oh damn. She play soccer. No. She do something with them feet. She ain't, she don't do shit. In the military, that bitch wear boots or something. Nope, not in the military. She was just tall, thick. You know you can get a surgery she was fine, to take that though. down, though. Yeah, also, yeah, see, because I like my toes sucked, so. I probably I probably would have sucked them motherfuckers with that corn one corned there. Up. Yeah. yeah. I ain't really the feet, nigga, but, like, I don't mind Sometimes doing some crazy OD shit. like, damn, that's too much corn. My homeboy called me the other day talking about some, man, this bitch spit in my mouth, man. I can't believe I like that shit. Okay, no, nah, I don't like that. <laughs> Did I say that? Was that you? I think that was me. Oh, yeah, that was yeah, you. I'm oh, tripping. Okay. Nigga, you should have just let me ride with it. I done told on you like and shit. Mm, come on, girl. <laughs> that you was like you, that. nigga. A, and it be a bunch of bitches on your statuses who be slick hating and slick laughing. They're like that shit. I be peeping. I be remembering shit. Oh, nah, but see, Trey called me with the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to my nigga be Trey. Beat that out. Beat that out. Shout out to y'all, but I ain't spitting in no mouths and don't spit in mine. I, I, I it, it wasn't. It definitely wasn't by request. I'm it, just saying, it, it was just like but you know, 
Shit was just lit. You just found out you liked it. That's how it was with feet. Nigga just, just did it one day, and I was like, "Oh shit, I like that. That felt good." It was. It was like the vibe was. It would. Uh, yeah. Can't get yeah, my lip gloss. See, I grew up on shit like that though, because uh, I went to a white school, it's so you know, white bitches like you to spit in their face and all kind of shit. I, I, I got Thank slapped you. in my face once. That shit was weird. Yeah, I did too. I don't like that shit. Yeah, I ain't like that shit either. That shit like me out. I choke. That's my thing. Yeah, I'm cool with that. But, yeah, I'm but like the, I don't the like slap. that either. I'm not I'm I'm not into the uh what's it called? BD BDSM. BDSM? Yeah, I'm Is not that into considered it. BDSM? I mean I guess ain't no, it. No, I mean it's levels to it though, because I like a little choking. I'm thick, to, me that's that, that, like that. to me that's that to me that's that like you, you like patent yeah. leather I, on. I, I won't hog like tie you. I can tie your hands up though, but See, I don't want to be tied up here. No handcuffs or nothing? You don't nah, want to be restrained. Nah. It's, it's too close hell to slavery. Hell nah. It's too close to slavery. Yeah. That sucks. For him. Fuck no. Hey, I'm telling you. I mean, I might get I might get dangerous like the that. Level of, the level of shit you're going to reach when you get comfortable just to be relaxed like that and let a bitch do that, it's going to be something different. I think, I think I'm going to have to know you for at least life. 20 years. Well, you about to be goddamn fucking with one of your childhood friends, my nigga. <laughs> Nah, I don't. I don't burn them bridges a long time ago. <laughs> you and his damn podcast. Yeah. So, um, before we get out of here, what, what what would you like to say to the people, Jalisa, or Anna Savannah, rather? <laughs> Either or. Shit about what? <clears throat> I mean, y'all tripping if y'all about anything about this man's sexuality, and then what I don't understand is. They always say, oh, we need to be receptive and accept the um, homosexual community or whatever. But then as soon as a straight man piss you off, you throw up being gay as an insult. And you know what? Like, I, I'm glad you said that. I ain't think about that. Make sense. Like, you, so it's not a, you want if you're calling somebody gay, that means thing. you're insulting them, right? But then you're using it as a bad thing. Yeah. So I thought like, we was being progressive about exactly. about the gay community. Supposedly. Right. Yeah. But as soon as a straight nigga do something that you feel like ain't hard enough... Oh, he's gay or he's the L. But your homeboy gay and you don't say nothing negative about him, so why are you using it in a negative way about somebody else? That's a great take. I think I think we can definitely wrap up right, wrap like it's up not on negative. that though. Slim, any any uh any words before we get up out of here? No, nah, I'm good. I'm just laughing at these Instagram comments. All right, well folks. This will be another episode of the Be Safe Podcast. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and we up out of here. I got to get my bedroom voice right. <laughs> what y'all thought? What you think? Yeah, that was good, bro. Great job for your first part, my dog. Thank you. Great job. Great job. I was just trying to make sure my nipples wasn't goddamn falling out. Hey, hey, them things sitting now. Okay. This thing talking now. I was trying not to do too much. Hey, this thing sitting up like two mangoes, dog. What do you mean? I was trying not to do too much.